In order to make a really good sound system for our customers, we need to meet many aspects of sound quality. Number one is tonal balance, enough bass, enough treble, etc. But also stereo imaging. You also want low distortion and you want to be able to play loud. If all of these four things are really strong, then it's really a great sound system. We are inside what we call a full anechoic chamber. This is basically a room with these conical shaped acoustic panels on the walls, ceiling and the floor. These panels absorb uh, sound reflections. So this is where we do all our prototype uh, design testing, trying to design the most effective solution for our vehicles. In order to decide for the location of a speaker, there are different aspects. When a speaker is for high or mid frequencies, it's very important that it's in the right spot. For low frequencies, the spot is less important. It's more important that it's, it has a really rigid mounting, so that's where these decisions are made. This is a subwoofer from a Model Y, and there are a couple of remarkable things about this. The, the first is how large it is, uh, and that large volume contributes directly to the performance of the subwoofer in the car. This is a nice demonstration of how tightly integrated the subwoofer is into the surrounding interior components, and what that results in is a lot of interior cabin space. This is an app we have which exposes a little bit more of what the DSP, that's digital signal processing, is available in the car. And so we're using this for diagnostics. So we can kind of come into a car and quickly figure out is there a problem with this car? Has it sounding by turning some things on and off? When we tune the car, we're going to take a bunch of measurements, measurements in each seat. And then we'll, we'll know the impulse response from the speaker to the listening position. We can figure out what the best filters are going to be so that each person in each seat is going to have a great listening experience. This is Tessie, uh, our head and torso simulator. It's used to tune telephony. It has a speaker in the mouth and microphones in the ears, so it can acoustically do everything a human could do. The measurements are done first, and then in the second level, we really listen to it and do fine adjustments. So most people spend time in their cars listening to music, but Tesla is special because we also have video and gaming capabilities. Very few cars currently let you do that. With the subwoofer and the woofers in the car, the effects of watching a movie, it sounds much bigger than the screen or the car, so people definitely enjoy it. I think the really unique thing is the amount of design and development that we do in-house. Internal teams at Tesla work extremely closely together in order to optimize all sorts of systems in the car, including the audio system. Why I became a DSP engineer is that you can work on an algorithm, you can do a bunch of math, but then you get to listen to it. Your Tesla is the place that you go to listen to audio. It's not like a compromise, it's like where you choose to go to listen to your audio. Most blokes, their car audio only goes to 10, but in a Tesla, you can go one higher to 11. 